Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this particular video, you will understand how to answer to another very most important, you know, common interview question that is asked by, you know, a lot of job interviewers with respect to, you know, a lot of job titles and that is why should we hire you, okay? Uh, though I have, you know, created uh, three example answer for you guys uh, and as, as well as, you know, uh, I have also created some pointers for you guys uh, like what are those things that you you know you should include while preparing for your answer so first of all we have you know uh, make your answer unique and specific L like from this particular point uh, uh, i mean that uh, you don't respond with a generic answer that could be replicated by any you know other candidate uh, like if if they say i have the right qualifications and you know right experience now if you said that I have the right qualifications and you know right experience, uh, your chances will most likely that you not impre impress the hiring manager. Okay, so be specific about which of your skills and experiences will benefit the company. That is one of the most important thing that you should keep in mind. The second thing is that uh, use the job posting as a guide. Now you have to read the job posting carefully and pick out key requirements. Okay, like education. Or experience that you can you know tie in with your answer okay uh, basically you have to find uh, commonalities okay between your skills and you know those listed under the requirements section okay so the more specific your answer is the more better is for you okay uh, the third point is that uh, uh, demonstrate that you will fit in with the team like from this particular point I mean that uh, employers are not just you know looking for someone who can do the job they also want to ensure that you will fit in with the company culture and characteristics, you know, of the department. So use this opportunity to highlight, uh, you know, uh, professional and personal traits that, that that will make you a great addition, you know, uh, to the team. Uh, like uh, at number four, uh, we have quantify your achievements. Now, from this particular point, I mean that, uh, you know, uh, like referencing your achievements and you know accomplishment uh, though it, it is it is a very good and you know great idea especially if you can show you know some numerical results like for example if you were able to you know streamline a particular manufacturing process you have to mention that it led to a you know like 20 percent or 30 percent or 40 percent increase in you know production rate so uh, you have to understand and you know include uh, all these pointers while preparing your answer okay this helps you in you know preparing a very professional answer at number five we have described ways in which you will make their life lives easier basically so uh, like uh, uh, what i mean from you know uh, from the perspective of this point is that uh, like before arriving for the interview you have to find out what goals the company is working towards and what are those issues like they are facing so uh, if, if you, you know, uh, find these particular uh, uh, different questions, you can do this by searching like uh, their, their web page, like social media page. There are a lot of company letters there, job postings is there. So you can find it from there as well. Then, you know, uh, basically find ways you can use your skills or experience, you know, to help them achieve these goals. That is, you know, another most important, you know, pointer for you. So these all are the, you know, uh, tips for you. Uh, that you can you know uh, keep in mind while uh, while preparing for this particular you know uh, question about why should we hire you now what are those things that you should avoid okay that is another very most important thing that you keep in mind like first of all you have to avoid giving a generic answer that anyone can replicate second thing is that don't make your answer too general or too personal the third one don't go over points that you have already discussed and the fourth one is that don't compliment the interviewer this is the most important you know point that you should avoid now let's uh, move towards our you know uh, example that i have prepared prepared for you guys this is the first example i have created you know uh, three examples as you can see there are three examples that i have prepared for you guys so you have the better idea you know uh, like how to answer to this particular question very professionally so let's suppose that you are in an interview and your interviewer asks you, why should we hire you? Uh, how you can answer to this particular question? Like, well, uh, based on what you said today and the research I have done, 
you are looking to boost your online and social media presence to help you stand out from the competition. Uh, at my previous company, I was able to increase buy activity, you know, by 32% by, by creating targeted social media advertising, okay? And uh, basically, I plan on bringing the same entrepreneurial spirit to your company and, you know, uh, and, and I will be looking to share my best ideas with the team. Now, uh, like from this particular answer, uh, like the explanation of this particular answer is basically like this response uses numerical results. As I have already told you about a numerical result that you can, you know, uh, include in that in your particular answer. So this response uses numerical results to demonstrate basically uh, the candidate's ability to perform key job responsibilities. Okay. And uh, it also indicates that the candidate understands the needs of the company and, you know, shows what they can bring to the table, basically. Uh, then, you know, uh, our second example, uh, how you answer to this particular uh, question. Uh, well, your job listing states that you are looking for someone uh, with excellent communication skills and, you know, uh, and a great deal of patience as well. Uh, like in my time as a volunteer caregiver, I have learned the value of patience when working with the elderly. And uh, I have also recently attended a management course that focuses on, you know, uh, improving communication skills in the workplace. So that's how you can answer as well. Uh, like the explanation of this particular answer is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, this explanation is, is, is you know, uh, like this answer is basically great for candidates with limited industry experience. Like instead of focusing on job specific skills and qualifications, uh, you can highlight life skills as well. That would be beneficial, you know, in the workplace as well. So this is also another very important, you know, simple answer for you. Now let's move towards our the th our third, uh, you know, example answer. Uh, well, you explained earlier that you are preferably preferably looking for candidates with leadership skills. In my eight years as a departmental manager, I have managed teams of more than forty people. And, you know, in this time, I, I developed key managerial and motivational skills that basically contributed to my department meeting and, you know, exceeding sales targets for, for five years in a row. Uh, I, I would love to bring my skills and leadership abilities to your company as well. Like the explanation of this answer is that, you know, uh, basically this particular answer focuses on bonus skills that are not a core requirement for the role, but it would certainly set your you, you you basically apart from other candidates so this is another very most important you know example answer that uh, you can you know uh, prepare as well so that's how you can you know answer to this particular question about why should we hire you i hope you like today's video uh, if you like this video thumbs up do subscribe to our channel knowledge topper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material not just related to these topics but from other courses as well. So this is the video for all of you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.